Hi everyone! Today we're going to be doing some sculpture in the temples and the lateral face and a little bit of the mid face to provide a little volume restoration in the temple area to improve the brow position as well as to put a little volume back to provide a little lift in the jawline and lower face. And we're going to be using the sculpture again today, so let's go ahead and get started. Dr. Dixon, you used such good technique, I didn't even feel that. Thank you. Just remember there's a little pressure here, and then you can, there's a little numbing medicine in here, so sometimes you can feel the eye twitch a little bit, or feel like a, you can't close it all the way, and that's totally normal. That'll stop in about 10 to 20 minutes. Turn this way just a little bit for me. Perfect. Go one, two, three. Okay. Uh huh. So, Dr. Dixon, why Sculptra versus Juvederm or some of the other filler products? What makes Ju Sculptra different? Sculpture is my favorite because it's going to produce your own collagen. So it's a biostimulatory agent. So you're actually going to produce longer lasting results and very natural results. And the, the great thing about Sculpture is you can also inject it all over just to give you volume improvement all over the face rather than just focusing on certain areas such as the cheeks or the jawline. You can kind of target everything one at once to give a nice liquid facelift. And the nice thing is typically we'll do a series like we are now, and this is our third treatment. And then we would do it once a year just for maintenance to keep that collagen stimulation going. Now it is a little different from your regular fillers because it does take about three to nine months for the results to fully come in. But once they do, they're, they really do last a long time and they also improve the texture of the skin. Two, three. So what is the cost comparison for doing Sculptra versus doing, say, an, an, another filler? For Sculptra, it's going to be more of an investment up front because we're going to have to use more vials to kind of get to our goal, depending on the patient's age, patient's volume loss, as well as, here we go, one, two, three, as well as kind of the goals the patient has, how much volume they would like. How are you doing there? Good, yeah, thank you. Perfect. But if you're, but if you're, if you're doing it over with, several treatments, you mm -hmm, can spread it out. Absolutely, yeah. you can spread it out. And typically we do three sessions initially, if you've never had sculpture before, um, one month apart, either one to two vials, depending on how much we need. And then once a year, we just do one vial for maintenance to keep that collagen stimulation going. And sometimes those that have a little more temple volume loss, you don't have that much of that, but sometimes they need a little bit more sculpture maintenance because the temples do tend to get hollow pretty quickly over time if that's something that someone pretty has a tendency towards. Like yeah, I was with a friend <laughs> last night and she had a lot of wasting right here. Does mm -hmm. that help with that it does. kind of it wasting helps. as you get older? Absolutely. It helps a lot with volume here and also a lot of Individuals will have some radial smile lines that kind of go out here on the cheek. It also helps with that because again, it improves that skin texture. One, two, three, you draw a line here. Turn this way for me. Beautiful, one, two, three. Two, 
How you doing? Oh, I'm always a jumper. <laughs> You're doing great. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. There you go. All done. Okay. You did great.